Hello, Shifon lovers. Good day, good morning. How are you? How is your family? For those of those of us in Nigeria, how are you coping? I know things are getting expensive, insecurity and all. Please stay safe. I want you all to take good care of yourself. Please eat. Because one thing for sure is that problem, it can never finish. You know they finish. Okay, guys, please take care of yourself. Drink water. Drink water. Don't don't just overwork yourself and say, oh, whenever you are free, you would, you would drink water or you eat. As soon as the need arises, please go and eat and drink water. And please get your PVC. Get your PVC. We are not here to joke. I'm going to be reminding you everything. We are going to be making something really, really lovely as usual. We're going to be making something really lovely. We are going to be making these outfits by one by Bella from BB Ninja. I saw this outfit and I'm like, there is no way this outfit is going to slip from my hands. I am going to make this. So I saw it and I, I didn't see her clearly that day. So I had to research and research and I found the video. I found I found all I needed and we are going to be recreating these outfits today. This outfit, you can see the color combination, is something that we Nigerians are not so used to. Or let me not say Nigerians. We we women in general, we are always scared of colors. We don't want to wear too bright colors, you don't want to be noticed, but I think I think now we have we've gotten past that that stage. Now we are free to wear, we have to be confident. We have to wear confidence when we step in. They have to notice us because you are a chiffon lover and you have to be known. So here are the materials I'm going to use for this um, outfit. So I have this material here. This is a bridal satin material it's of two yards i'm small I'm making it for myself i am i'm a size six so i'm using two yards if you are size eight you can still use two yards i think maybe if you are size 16 maybe would consider but this is okay for the top and the skirt for these orange this is a um, raw silk material as you can see how bright it is like imagine combining these two colors together have you i've not done it before <laughs> i haven't worn such a bright color before but i'm like why not why not so guys we are going to be combining these two materials together. to start this clothes if you haven't watched our previous video on how to cut the off shoulder princess bustier pattern how to draft and cut it please go and watch it so that you can be able to use that pattern to cut the top of this dress because we're not going to be going through that again since there's a video already already uploaded Last. for that but not the least if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for support your girl support your girl please subscribe to my channel i know you're enjoying it and I want you to enjoy it. So please subscribe to my channel. Please like, share to your friends, and comment. I know sometimes you might have questions, you might have things you want to ask. Please feel free to put those questions in the comment section. And I would always, always answer your questions. So if you want to make these very lovely outfits, keep watching. Thank you. I've gone ahead to cut the pieces from my front. I use the material also as the as the lining. If you've not watched our previous video on how to cut the off shoulder princess bustier, please look at that video and then use it to cut this pattern. I just added half an inch around for stitching allowance. I did that for the back. The back I cut it four pieces. Cut that four pieces and also left the allowance. Next, I've gone ahead to iron my gum stay to my fabric next for the back i've just marked my dart line i've gone ahead to stitch the sides like i did in my previous video on how to stitch the sides and i'm just going to notch them notch this edge well so i can be flat if you look at this video well you can see that i padded the 
the breast parts more than the other sides this is just to give it a firm look at the end so now i've just gone ahead to iron this is one of the most important part of this of this outfit this brings out the beauty i've gone ahead to iron it i also use my um taylor's ham if you don't know how to make this taylor's ham just i have a video uploaded already so you can look at that video and then use it that's if you don't have one already so i just ensured that the the boobs uh, the bust part rather has been is ironed properly like so so i also went ahead to iron the lining because it also has to be neat we have to have a nice finish next i'm just going to pin the front the main fabric and the lining i'm just going to also cut out the excess at the shoulder at the armhole cut out the excess because we don't need that part anymore yes so this is how it's going to look now i'm going to cut for my sleeve i'm going to the length the width is i thought is on four the width is about three inches on four that's a total of six and the length is 30 inches so i've gone ahead to cut that and i'll just stitch that now at half an inch at the side so i've done that now as you can see so i'm just going to turn, i've used my machine and i've sewed it down i'm just going to turn it to the right side because it was sewn at the wrong side so i'm going to turn it to the right side now and give it a good press i've given it a good press now as you can see now i'll just take my tape and mark at two inches interval that's two four six eight ten twelve till the end of this of this um strip Now this is how I'm going to use the key splits. I'm going to use the first two, the first mark I've, um, I've indicated like so and then just join them together and pin it. Please just watch very carefully how I did it. The next mark I, 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 is front and back, it goes forward and backwards. So you bring the first fabric forward and bring the next one you bring it backward and you bring the next one forward like that as you can see it's very easy just look at it and you're going to get it so i had i went ahead and pinned it down my pin was was pulling out at the point so i had to keep going back This is where the pin came out so you have to be careful so as you can see i just bring them bring one backward bring the next one forward and i just kept pinning them down you can do this on your machine i measure the length the length i need for this sleeve is 12 inches because we've removed five inches from our off shoulder then plus allowance and all so i just need 12 inches both for stitching allowance everything included so i'm just going to pleat it so i can get 12 inches so once i get 12 inches i'll just cut that and then do for my second sleeve now i'm just gonna have to fold it into two like so divide it so i can get the middle and i can know where i'll place it on the fabric now after folding my front piece i'll just mark my neckline which is four inches then the part that i've i notched i'm just going to pin those two parts together like this i'll do it for the second sleeve as well so the part i notched just and pin it to the other part and then right sides facing each other i would now pin the lining to the main fabric and then just take it around and pin make sure that it aligns make sure that it aligns so i pin it down so i pin it down and just make sure that it aligns and then i go back to my machine and i sew that part so this is how it looks at the front i've i've stitched it up there now i'm just going to sew the sides at half an inch 
they give it a good press as well so this is how it is I'm just going to notch any all those edges and then turn it to the right side like so so this is what is looking like so so beautiful so beautiful now I'll go to the back piece and sew my darts I'm just going to use my pattern to confirm the length of my darts which is about 7 inches so I'll just transfer that 7 inches to the 4 pieces of the back body lining after that I'm just going to align the um, the back piece ensuring that right sides face each other so just align it please guys I want you to focus very well here so you can see how I will use how I will get the strip to the back neatly neatly so we have our lining piece and we have our main fabric so the one I want to use as my lining piece the one that will be under the lining piece now I will make sure I turn I move that strip I make sure that it's arranged and then put the lining strip under like this then carry the one I want to use as my front um, piece and put it at the top of the strip and I pin it like so this is how it's going to look go ahead and do the same for the for the other side the lining piece you can see how I folded the strip lining piece put it at that edge now that that piece we've notched and the the main one I put at the top and I pin it so this is how it's going to look now it's going to you would understand it better you can see how it's going to look so now I'll just go ahead to my machine and now stitch that top part at half an inch if you need to pin it why not I'm just pinning it for the sake of this video and I'll just show it at half an inch do it for the other side so I'm going ahead to stitch it right now I'm just going to notch it and cut out every excess fabric every excesses and turn it to the right side so this is how it looks now still at the wrong side I'm just going to st um, stitch the sides I'm going to align it put like so so I'll do it for the two sides and I am done this is how it is looking looking so nice now I just want to get the exact my exact body measurement so I can stitch the front and the back so I go back to my waist my waist is 29 27 inches divided by 4 that's 6.75 I'll just mark that point I don't want any I don't want any allowance at all I want it to be very fitting on my body so I go back to my bust my bust is at 6 inches divided by 4 which is 9 I also use my rolling um, tracing wheel to transfer this pattern to the back so that I don't have to take measurements at the back again so I go to my bust mark my bust measurement divided by 4 and go to my chest line that's at that armhole point and mark my chest measurement divided by 4 I also use my tracing wheel again to transfer this point to the back piece so that I don't have to do it twice when I use tracing wheel it will just automatically appear then automatically I did the work where it appears at the other side so now place them right sides facing each other and then stitch them stitch the side with the measurement that I have just marked so you can see how it's looking now I'll go ahead now and stitch the sides so this is how it looks now next I just want to hem the, the bottom part I'm going to cut a strip of fabric of one inch width and the length is just going to be two two centimeters two inches longer than the length I have at the at the waist there so this is going to serve as a bias strip so whatever your waist measurement is there you just add two inches there so you know how to use your bias if not you can just watch how I'm doing it I folded the the strip at, at the top parts at the beginning parts just a bit and then I took the I, I sewed it down I went to the machine and I just stitched it down at half an inch after that this is how it is looking then I would fold it in ensuring that I place the bias strip now at the right side so that I can fold it in at the wrong side 
so I just folded it I'm folding it in now as you can see I'll just head over to my machine now and sew that down so guys this is how it is looking so neat and beautiful next now I'm just going to fix my zipper if you don't know how to fix a zipper please let me know in the comment section so I can make a very very detailed and easy video on how to sew your zipper without stress so I'm just going to stitch my um, pin my zipper to the line the allowance that we've left and I'll go ahead to do it for both sides and we've come to the end of the shirt parts this is how the shirt is going to look very easy So guys, that's all for the top. Now we'll head over to the skirts. If you've gotten to this point and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Let's head back into the video. I've gone ahead now to um, draft to mark out my lines, my waistline, my hip line and the length of the dress. My waist to hip is 8 inches and then the length of the skirt is plus 2 inches for um seam for allowance then i mark my dart line my dart is at 4.5 and the depth is 4.4 inches so i just roll that line from the center front and then take my half an inch seam allowance from both sides and then connect it like so so i would go ahead now and take my body measurements my waist measurement divided by four plus one inch for that so I put there and 1.5 inches for seam allowance I go over to my hip line to my hip divided by two by four plus 1.5 now for my hem I have 13 inches I have 12 inches I'll just remove whatever I have already I'll just remove 1.5 inches or two inches depending on how tight how body fitted you want it to be 1.5 to 2 inches and then i'll just connect those lines like so you can see for the hem there i i use a straight line now for the waist we're just going to go down from that waistline by half an inch and then just connect it with the curve to the point of the waist just like you can see So that is it for the front part of the skirt. We're just going to cut that out and then place this on our back piece. Now this is the back. I've just gone ahead to mark out my zipper allowance of two inches. I just placed, um, I put the material on fold. So the only difference between the front and the back now will just be the zipper allowance. So at that hem, I just took one inch and the waist marked one inch. Then I came down from the hips by seven inches and I marked that line. Then on that line too, I will just mark one inch at the zipper allowance. So now I'm just going to connect these lines, connect this one with a straight line. Then from that point to the hip line, I will just use my curve row to create a curve. This is to accommodate the bum so that the bum doesn't look flat, it protrudes. And I could use that curve and connect it to the waist line. Now, also go to the waist of the skirt. You remember, we made a curve for the front, for the back, we don't want a curve. We are going to make it straight. So, from that point there, we'll I'll just draw a straight line down, down from the points that have that top part there. And we cut it out. So this is how the back looks i'm going to notch my darts as well and transfer all my dart measurements so i don't have to do this i'm taking measurements next is to cut our dart our waistband so i'm going ahead to fold the material 
keep the material full please please give enough room for allowance here this space i left here is not going to be enough so please just try to go down a little bit i'm just going to mark out the width of my waist just to get the exact point the exact width of my measurement of my waist i'm sorry about that and i connected at this point i realized that the mark i left was was not enough so i just came down a bit and i connected the lines so i can have enough space so i'm just going to measure that line i have and what i have i'll just divide it by two and then come up by one inch from the edge and use my curve rule to connect to that point that half po midpoint we have there then i'll go up by 1.5 inches from the three edge points down to the middle and i'll use my ruler connect the first the base point with a curve and then the last points with a straight line I'm just going to go around now and add half an inch seam allowance all around both to the sides it's an easier way to do it you see when I cut the back when we cut the back waistband so I'm just going to connect all those points now and we cut the waistband for the front very easy so we need two we need two waistbands the other one will serve as our as our lining so i just went ahead to cut another piece and that's for the front now for the back we need four pieces for the back so i'm just going to fold my material into four into four and then i just went ahead to mark out the points the the width of my of my waist and divided it row the line what i have there divided by two i do the same thing again mark that point and then come up by one inch and use my curve row to curve then instead of going by 1.5 this time i'll just go by 2.5 adding the seam allowance so i'll just go by 2.5 inches and connect the line so the only thing that we'll now do now is to add our half inches to the sides like this add our half inches to the sides connect these lines As you can see and then we'll cut it out so that's it for the back now i'm just going to go ahead to sew my darts for every part the front and the back there's no lining for this outfit there's no lining for the skirt now i've also gone ahead to iron my gum stay to the waistband just going to place them right ensuring that the the deeper side is the base so i'm just going to stitch the top of that waistband i'll do the same thing for the back and stitch just the top we're not stitching the base part we'll stitch just the top i'll do it for all my pieces and then i'm just going to notch it and then turn it since we're not stitching the base parts you'll see how it's going to come out so this is the top part of the waistband so now i'm just going to mark the middle midpoint of my of my front piece and also mark the midpoint of my of my waistband and connect it i'm going to make a very much more detailed video on how to sew a skirt so if you're interested in that video please just comment in this comment section I'll make a very much more detailed video on that so just is the waistband and then next i'm just going to cover use the other part of the waistband to cover the top neatly you can see the waistband is bigger than the skirt that because we've already taken in our our that so the waistband is going to be getting the sketch we just cut that out when we are through so i'm just going to pin that out pin that down and head over to my machine and stitch then i'll do the same for the back do the same for the back stitch it's very tiny there and very neatly do the same thing i've just done for the back Now 
make sure that the parts for the center back aligns and the side seam aligns don't use different sides don't use different edges So now I'm just going to connect this after taking after marking on my body measurements. I'm just going to connect the sides together and cut out every excess fabric. So we have connected the front and the back at this point. Now I'm just going to go over to the hem of the skirt and just fold it down like so, and and sew the edge the hem. So this is how the skirt is looking now. Now I want to just mark out where would place our key splits so my material now I folded it like this I'm just going to use my tape and mark one inch from the from the joining them just going to mark one inch and connect them connect this point then I'll go down by two inches from the waistband and connect it I also transfer these measurements and I've taken down to the other side like so you can try to take the measurements afresh or you can just transfer it from the front to the back so this is how it's looking guys I'm going to use my tape to just measure what I have all around there to know the amount of fabric I'm going to use for the pleats now i have my key splits my material is at um 12 inches width and i have about 108 inches at length now this is a collar gum i'm just going to go and iron the collar gum to this material like this this is a very hard collar gum i would advise you to use a very hard gum stick if your machine is not so strong like mine because i had to battle with it because it was really strong so i've gone ahead now to iron it properly now I'm just going to do what I did before, marking it at 2 inches interval all the way down. Unlike the last time when we pinned, because of how hard this material is, we will not go ahead to pin because we just waste time. We just head straight to the machine and pleat it as we are sewing. So after I fold the first edge, the first parts, the first 2 inch mark, the next 2 inch mark, I'll just fold it to meet, to meet it at the front then. As you can see exactly what we did before but now we're just going to be sewing fold it back to the next two inch mark stitch fold it forward to that point stitch fold it back again stitch so you can see how it's how it's looking please ensure that you are stitching at the middle not at the edge ensure that you got the midpoint so you can see how it's how it's looking this is what we call a kiss split they have to connect So I'll just do this till I get my desired length. You can take your tape and measuring as as you sew to confirm how how far you've gone. So I just did that till I got the length that I that I desire, the length that is required. So this is how it's looking. I'm just going to stitch the edges so that it doesn't look rough. Just fold it in, take it to the machine for the both sides and stitch it down. Fold it neatly inside and stitch it down like so. So now I've also mark the middle of this of this pleats so i can place it at the midpoint of the skirts 
and I'm just going to pin this all around I'm going to pin it all around please while pinning ensure that you don't have a fold on the skirt ensure that the, the skirt is laid flat that there are no gathered parts on this skirt while pinning so you can see how it's looking so i've gone ahead to stitch this to my with my machine at that point that we used to pleat it initially so this is how it looks at the back and this height is at the front so now we'll just go ahead and fix our zipper i've marked my eight inches point there we'll just fix my zipper at that point there so the back and guys this is the final look of this outfit thank you for watching